All right, you guys ready to see a messy shop? It has been literally months since I've got to do really anything in my shop. Uh, just had projects to do here and there and had to come in and just basically drop stuff and run and leave to go out of town or leave to take the camper somewhere or whatever. I mean, just stuff absolutely everywhere. So today I'm gonna to try to spend a little bit of time getting stuff back and organized and put back in their place. They're just stuff everywhere and I said it is it is an absolute mess. Really ashamed of it, but I thought maybe uh, maybe it might make you feel better about yours. I still have a few things that I don't know what I'm going to do with long term. Uh, I have a lumber cart over there, but I want to create different something else. I think I want to create a stand, maybe beside a table saw to store all the lumber, so I could store these small pieces too and. Then I'll get this stainless table out of here, take it to camp, I think. Uh, obviously, don't need my torpedo heater out, but I haven't had time to put it away. Have uh, a few things from a Bridgeport mill that I bought recently that is not here yet. It's sitting at a uh, barn at my dad's I need to get and do some work on. Boxes and boxes of uh, some large drill bits I got at an auction. A lot of stuff that I've just just laid just to get it out of the way so I could do other stuff. Uh, a bunch of stuff I cleaned off of my workbench so I could start on a video for that. A bunch of tools that I just brought down from the house from assembling the pool and getting it ready so I need to put that stuff away. Clean off my weld table again, have uh, more projects for that. Unfortunately, still have the uh, hydrographics tank over there. Just relisted that again. Had a lot of tire kickers, but nobody interested in getting into that business, unfortunately. So hopefully that'll sell soon. That's taken up a lot of real estate in here, but unfortunately, more than anything, it's, it's mostly just because it's a mess. It, it's hard to work. I just need to get it all cleaned up and everything moved around, but once again, it's horrible, so I thought maybe it'd make you feel better about yours. Oh, and it's been so humid here. I am so upset, but uh, take a look at uh, the nice top on my saw stop table saw. I thought I had it waxed up enough that it uh, would not have rusted, but it did start to surface rust, so I gotta clean that up and get that wax before that really starts to pit. So far, it's just just on the surface, so I don't want it to get any deeper than that for sure. Bunch of drawer slides. If anybody needs any drawer slides, I have over 3,200 pair of drawer slides, 16 inch and 28 inch. Once again, got those from an auction. They were going so cheap, guys were buying them just to take them to the scrap. And I didn't want to see that happen, so, so I bought a bunch. Too many, as a matter of fact, five skid loads. Five skids, sorry. But all right, I'm gonna get this set up, do a little cleaning. Maybe I'll do the uh, table saw first, because obviously that's a heck of an investment that I don't want to see get ruined. So yeah, let's get that cleaned up and waxed up, and we'll do that first. So usually when taking rust off of a surface, I'll use a PB Blast and a Scotch-Brite pad. Yes, thank goodness that is just nothing but surface.
Hopefully you can see the difference there, but. clean up a little bit of that oil residue off of there. I know that would help prevent it from rusting, but that's not the type of film I want on top. This may seem uh, counterintuitive to actually put water and wet sand a cast iron surface. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean this up a little bit, take the top surface off. I got all the surface rust off, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and just show you what I've done in the past, which is wet sand a little bit, and then I'm going to buff it, and then we'll put a nice protective uh, coating layer on it. Big difference, better already. <laughs> Wanted to wait till that turned off, but uh, I'm starting off with a 150 grit, then I'll move to a 320, then we'll move to a 1000. <laughs> Now we're moving to the 320. Now a thousand grit. When I'm doing this, I try to move fast because I don't want any flash rusting. So I'm just going to keep right on moving and then I'm going to jump right into buffing. Not sure if you guys can tell the difference, but wow, it, I can't believe the difference already. And I can, what you guys can't tell is I can feel the difference. Just sliding everything across is so much smoother. Now, I'm actually going to buff out the top. And you can use any rubbing compound, swirl mark remover, anything like that. This is 3M's Perfect It. Anytime you put that on, smear it around a little bit before you turn on your pad so you don't fling it everywhere.
That is a thousand percent better. Now I'm going to put the protectant on it. And what I use on this and uh, my bandsaw, drill press, just everything that's got a cast iron top is Johnson Paste Wax. You can put this on and it doesn't interact with the wood or cause you any problems down the road. What I do is I just smear it on and make sure I get a nice, nice thin film everywhere. Now it's recommended that you do this every time you use your tool. And supposedly this will just keep working its way down into all the pores of the cast iron. And I don't want to say it seasons it because you're not cooking it or anything, but the more you use it, the better it does at protecting your top. Another place I do is where the uh, the fence slides. After I get this done, I'll slide it down and I'll do that edge. But let that dry up a little bit, then we'll come back and buff that off. Okay, it's been about oh, 20 30 minutes since I put the paste wax on, so let's go and take that off now. Alright, I'm going to put another coat or two on, so. 